see the next uh, model under this specialized process model is the formal methods model the name itself talks about the formal methods when we deals with the mathematical derivations mathematical wave will be there then such type of models is called as formal methods so when we call as a formal methods means when you are model consisting of some mathematical notations or some mathematical derivation some involvement in the mathematical way then it called as the formal methods model coming to this one it is going to be encompasses means it is going to be combining a set of activities see encompasses means it is going to combine some set of activities this activities leads to formal mathematical specification of computer software so formal methods consisting of a set of activities this activity is going to be deals deals in the sense it is going to be give a way for a formal mathematical specification of computer software and this formal methods enable when you are using this model to specify first one to specify second one to de develop third one to verify what it will be do specify develop verify a computer based system by applying a rigorous mathematical notation now it is giving some validation to you it will be specify a mathematical notation develop a mathematical model verify with the help of this mathematical model and give such a way that a computer based verification will be done inside that one in simple we can call as an algorithm for a program called as prime number algorithm how it will acts it gives not a program algorithm talks about what type of the things you are going to using how many variables or how many the uh, selection statements you are using how many the uh, continue the looping statements you are going to using over there where you are going to be checking the conditions all sort sort of the base for a program will be given for algorithm in the same fashion for verifying this one this formal methods talks about a deals with a mathematical specification or mathematical model which gives you a correct way whether the model whatever you are proposing has performing whatever the activities is a correct or not so a variation on this approach is called as clean room software engineering we have another model called as a variation a small changes for this formal methods is with the help of that formal changes they are develop another model in uh, by mill in 1987 and i 1992 called as clean room software engineering is currently applied by some software development organization with a small variation and you please remember that don't say that what is the clean room software engineering clean room software engineering also be a one type of formal method but the difference between that and this is a small variation but we don't have in the syllabus as a clean room software engineering only we have formal methods coming to in detail about why for what purpose in detail we are going to using this formal method model is for eliminating many of the problems now what are the problems the formal methods is going to be eliminating is the first problem the ambiguity ambiguity means the duplicate the redundant will be overcome second problem is incompleteness incompleteness in the sense just partial is not completed any not giving the solution such type of it gives a full fails because when you derive something and a mathematical you already know show that something the questions will comes in m1 m3 or m2 or some other mathematical uh, subjects courses show that means you are deriving total the total problem and giving a finally a solution in the middle you are not dropping the solution right because it's a mathematical you are deriving step by step step by step step by step you are going to be doing and finally you are concluding that so on so will give so on so a plus b whole square equal to you are deriving you are not suddenly you are lifting a square plus b square you are not giving that incomplete answer you are giving a square plus b square plus 2ab like this because the mathematical way so it is going to give a completeness so that type of problems incompleteness problems also it will be resolved the next third problem is inconsistency 
inconsistency is nothing but same type of things no clarity in the requirement such type of problems also going to be rectified by this formal methods and also if formal methods can demonstrate software correctness why is why is it they are not widely used why they are not widely using this formal methods means because you have a doubt that even instead of the waterfall or incremental or spiral or any other specialized process models instead of that why the people are not using this formal methods to demonstrate software correctness why it is not going to they are going to be widely using because of some problems they are not using because the meaning here is the limitations of formal methods the first limitation is it's a type time consuming and expensive why it is time consuming because it deals with mathematical and when you deal with the mathematical the computing for that the computation power is going to be how more when the computation power is more definitely the cost to evaluate to compute that one is expensive because you know the difference between 4 gb ram and 8 gb ram it is look like as a fastness and whatever the cost of 4 gb compared with the 8 gb it's similar to the double of that one right so because to compute more we are going to using cpu if you require more and more computation we are going to using gpu graphical processing units so that's why when your model takes more time definitely it takes more computation power because of that time and power the cost of that also be it is a more the second problem is because few software developers have the necessary background to apply formal methods because how many of the mnc company peoples the software developers have grip on mathematics if they have the grip on mathematics every software engineering in the industry becomes data scientist data analyst because the prerequisite for data analyst data scientist which is emerging in the market now what they required they required more power more uh, stuff on the statistics probability and some sort of the mathematical uh, formulae then it will be expertise in data scientist or data analytics so because of that they required a background knowledge those who want to be work on formal methods the software developers required some background knowledge on formal methods so to get that one again it is a extensive training is required until unless they have take some training on that they are not able to apply that this is the second limitation this is the first limitation l1 limitation 1 is this is uh, limitation 1 limitation 1 here is time consuming and expensive limitation 2 is we required some extensive training because the software developers required some background knowledge on that the third limitation is it is difficult to use the models as a communication mechanism for technically unsophisticated customer unsophisticated customers means those who don't have the uneducated or don't have the knowledge on a particular thing to deal to record some because communication is one of the activity in our software engineering life cycle this communication mechanism is not suitable it is very difficult to use if you are using formal models because we are dealing when you are dealing with a technically unsophisticated customer we are unable to record such type of things so the problems also it is overcoming as well as the limitations also be there for formal models problems they are overcoming here these are called as what advantages this is called as advantages of formal formal methods these are called as drawbacks or disadvantages right so this is about the formal methods okay